but I have managed to cut out everything. Yay. Hello lovelies, welcome to Amy of Melbourne. My name's Amy, obviously, and today we're going to be trying to put together some stuff to wear on holidays in the QLD. If you're not from Australia, you probably have still heard of this place. It's the Gold Coast and it's where me and my family went on a holiday. Because of this, I decided let's make an entire new wardrobe for said holiday. I started out this sewing adventure by thinking I would make some swimmers from Petite Stitch Co. I was going to make the Brooklyn and the Nora and put them together in a mix and match. If you're ever trying to put together the swim pattern for the Brooklyn, you, you just check what you actually need to print. Like look at the boards and actually write it down because oh my god, this is now just so good. There's so much. Not even all of it, there's another stack of paper there. It's nuts. I either got spooked by the complexity or I just impulsively changed my mind. Now I've started to make a dress, which is the Westcliff dress from Friday Pattern Company, which I've wanted to make for ages, but not this impulsively. Well, Melbourne is abysmal today and I don't have any sunlight. So that makes filming anything hard. But today I'm going to try and get done the West, what have I got on my list? The Westcliff dress and finish my swimmers and make my wrap. But I'm already an hour late in starting, so wish me luck. I don't think I'm gonna get all this done by the time we leave. Mm, so I have this beautiful fabric from Spoonflower. It's my first ever order from Spoonflower. I was hoping to make a Westcliff dress, but I didn't decide that until after I got the fabric and it turns out that I didn't get enough by like half a metre. So I'm trying to work out how I can possibly jigsaw this thing together. I'm only going to make the short version, but I was going to change the waistband um, so that it's straight rather than um, being like so that it's gathered, I should say. Um, those are the waist tie and the neck band thing. I'm going to do those in contrasting. Then I have the other pieces. So do I do like the back in a contrasting colour? Is that just dumb? Do I... Thinking thinking concepts, ideas. What do I do? Okay, so here's where I'm at. I'm still going to make it swirl because I really don't want to scrub this fabric because I love it so much. I'm going to do two skirt panels. I'm going to piece the back together. I'll break from here up and then across to there to do the front and the fronts, the sleeve. One side of the top, <laughs> so desperate I'm getting, the one side of the top um, can actually use some of the white border because it goes like underneath because it's a faux wrap. So let's twirl first and then see how we go. With my twirl, I cut out two meters of my black jersey and this is all I have left, but I have managed to cut out everything except for the neck binding and the waist tie. So we'll see if that looks okay. Okay, trying on my waist clip and it looks freaking good. I'm so happy with how it's fitting. So hopefully I can work out what to do about the neck binding on the green one and I can make that too. Once I'd half finished that twirl, I switched back again because I remembered that I actually desperately need swimwear to go to the beach. So I'm doing mix and match swimsuit for this capsule. I'm using the Brooklyn and the Nora from Petite Stitchery. Um, I like them both because it's got ruched sections, um, gathered, whatever you want to call it, sections. And I think they're really pretty. Uh, this top is the only top that I'm using. I'm going to make one set of bottoms from this pattern and one set of bottoms from this pattern. These are literally the biggest bottoms pattern piece ever. They're just massive um, as they are. They're going to be rouged down, so it's fine. The gathered or whatever you want to call it. Um, but they currently, they 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 come all the way up to my, my chesticles and that's horrifying. <laughs> they're just massive. On a positive note, the ruching has turned out better than I even thought it would, though it's not easy to do. On a negative note, I've run out of fabric for all the pieces I need to make another top. All I've got left, so I'll have to go back uh, to Shine Fabrics and get some more. Could there be any more pins? Oh my god. The bottoms are finished, first set. Um, overall, happy with them, except that I made the waistband a little bit too big. Followed the same waistband measurements as my hips, but I should have graded. My waistband measurement is the one that fluctuates the most out of my main body measurements. So it happens, that's okay, I know now for next time. Sewing swimwear or swim fabric is a freaking workout, particularly doing the leg holes. It was, that was hard work. <laughs> 
So that's my first set of swimmers done. I don't know whether you can tell on camera, but they're different dye a lot between the old fabric and the new fabric I got. So that sucks. <laughs> They don't quite match, but oh well. So this is my first set. I'm gonna stop with swimmers now and work on a couple of other things that I wanna take because I at least have a pair of swimmers. And then hopefully next week I can make a second pair. Bit sad. Life's been a bit hard. My aunt passed away, which is because, you know, it's obviously that really interrupted the plans come to the realization that I'm not going to get done anywhere near all of the sewing I wanted to get done for this trip. Um, yeah, so today I had to go and buy supplementary clothes. And I know you're thinking, Amy, just wear the clothes you already have. I'm from Victoria in Australia and Victoria tends to only have two summer bits. There's either not really that warm, almost cold and often raining, or so hot that you will burn to ashes the moment you walk out your front door because it's like 43 degrees and that lasts for a, like a month a few weeks depending sometimes a bit less and then it's back to not being that warm anymore I don't really have the best summer wardrobe because it's not that necessary but we're going to queen lane but what do they say nice one day perfect the next or something like that pretty true i'm gonna try and get done swimmers and hopefully a couple of like layering bits Moving on to the cover-up that I decided to make, even though the pattern doesn't come up to my size yet. It is in the works, I promise. I decided to make the Summerfield Coat by Elba Textiles, just so I've got something for layering. I just feel like you're not meant to do something. Well, my husband's now in hospital. Nothing serious, just... But I'm, I'm not gonna get pretty much any of this done. I mean, the video isn't really getting done. So, who knows if this is even footage? Obviously a new day. Things have calmed, which is very nice. So, where am I at? This, this thing. I just have to attach the sleeves, which are here. The pockets that I added in are more like the height of like 90s jeans pockets. Not not really the look I was going for. So they're not quite as functional as what I wanted them to be, but it's fine. I'm not going to take them out. I'm not going to redo it. I don't have time. Now I am making my second set of swimmers. I don't know whether I'm going to make my homie wrap or if I finish off my Westcliff wearable twirl. So at least I've got that to wear. Frustrated. But we'll have some things, just not as many things. Okay, so it needs an iron, but it is done. Here it is. Sorry about the terrible footage. I'm using my phone because I can't bother finding my, my camera. Despite having not made a single pant, short, top or dress for this trip, I decided to switch back to swimwear so that I can actually fulfill my dream of a mix and match set. Plus I learned some things on the last one and I wanted to make those changes for the next one. So for the last bay the top that I made, I used swim lining and honestly it is a bitch to work with. I really hated it. So this time I'm gonna line it just with the outside fabric. Same thing, almost like it's reversible. Now it's a little bit bulkier, but it's a lot less difficult to work with and it's gonna be faster. And at this point, I just need to be. Doing the lining out of the actual swim fabric was so much easier. Highly recommend. If you are a first time maker of swimwear, don't use swim lining. It's hard, <laughs> just, just double up in all fabric. Swim top is complete, including lengthening. I did a better job. I'm happy with that, I'm, but yeah. It's so much easier with using the same fabric for the lining. Okay, so, done. Last night I was getting really stressed out about not having made all the things that I wanted to make to go on the holiday. And I was thinking about what I actually really wanted to bring and I really wanted to bring my rosary dress, but there were still a few alterations to make. So at 10.30 at night, I kind of lost my mind and I cut it to pieces. 
So let's remake it. Unfortunately, I failed to take any footage of that remaking process, so you just have to trust me that I Update for today's sewing. I have finished fixing my purple dress. It took hours longer than I thought. I had to redo everything multiple times because obviously it wasn't based on like patterns or measurements or anything useful. I was just chopping into it. So that's done. Swimmers are done. Wrap thingy layer is done. I'm gonna try to speed sew a homer wrap. I don't know if I'll be able to get it done. It's not the, the pants version, it's just the dress. So now I'm gonna actually make it in proper fabric and I really, like I just, it's like perfect beach. Like it's so perfect. So I'm gonna try, but I may not get it done, we'll see. I ran out of my beautiful green, so now I have to use yellow. Also, I forgot to put it on the lower side of these ties. So now I'm having to unpick and redo. It's now too late at night and I should be ducked over bed, but look how cute with the different bias on the inside for a stuff up that turned out pretty cute also I'm, I'm, I've, I'm trying it on and so far I'm pretty happy yes a little wind today but it's also like 10 o'clock at night and I'm still not done so swings and roundabouts so in the end I didn't get everything done and that's okay because I tried my best I did get a few things done uh, so let's have a look at those I started out wanting many things. I had big dreams of shirts and shorts and swimwear and dresses and everything else you could possibly imagine. But I didn't get there. Life definitely stuffed me up on this one. But that happens sometimes and it's okay. I still got to wear things that I'm comfortable in, that I enjoy wearing and that fit me properly. And I got to spend time with my family and that's really what matters. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and uh, see you later.